Tampa's always been a trading partner with New Orleans up until the embargo happened. We were sister cities, uh, port cities, and it's, you know, the architecture is the same, the vibe is the same. It's, it's difficult to know when you're, you're one, in one place and not in, in the other. It's, you know, the message is, is actually quite simple. It's like, take the time, let's just stop talking about what keeps us apart and what makes us different, and take the time to find what you have in common and on that little piece of ground, that little bitty space, um, you strive to build bridges, you know, as opposed to walls. That's definitely what we're getting And this little film is, yes, it's about New Orleans, yes, it's about Cuba, yes, it's about the universal language of music, but in the end, that can be transposed to any situation you're in, whether it's political, whether it's social, whatever it is, uh, let's find what, what we have in common and celebrate that. Because it was started and formulated in New Orleans, Jazz, we know that, but it's like, well, how did we get the ingredients even before we, we developed it in New Orleans? And and, uh, and you know, a lot of it was with the Cuba. But what really tripped me out is, is the closest country place I've ever been to New Orleans culture. But you know, New Orleans is one of a kind. It's kind of well known around the world. But we went to Cuba, it's like, check this out. You got pretty much another New Orleans here. I mean, right from the music down to the red beans and rice. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Ronnell Johnson, the Preservation Hall Jazz Band, from New Orleans. Yeah. <laughs>